Hey guys, what up here, and welcome back to NASCAR Heat 4 Kernel, part number 15. More of the same stuff, just going into the truck race at Dover, which I thought was Charlotte last part, so, uh, my bad. But we do have a hot seat coming up after this one with a, I'm assuming, a four-star team in the Xfinity, so that'll be interesting. So I messed with the settings a little bit off camera, just trying to get a feel for the game. But first, gotta talk about Dirt Series, because that was, that happened too, so... I actually did not win, I got second, and I lost that by like, like five seconds, and then third was like five seconds back for me, it was weird, but we, yeah, it was a solid day and money stuff, so that was good, but yeah, settings, I changed the tire wear, or the fuel to normal, because I did like two to three different practice sessions off camera and quick race at Dover just to kind of get a feel for the game, and it's a uh, frustrating, aggravating, because that, that's just one track that I may have an idea on, but other tracks might be totally different. But it's from what I've seen, a uh, tire wear, if I have it on normal, they don't wear like mine, and I'll just kind of chill in 11th <laughs> or 12th. I, and that that's really it. So, and I would need a, basically a full-blown custom setup to even compete for wings. I tried to use uh, an Epic Gaming's Heat 3 uh, Dover setup, and it's, like, impossible. The car is absolutely out of control. So, I, it's it's just not doable. So, I have to try to go with just the, the standard fuel consumption, or the normal, which should be fine. But the tire wear, I think this will be the best balanced one. But, again, it's just a pain trying to figure all this out, trying to get it exactly how you want it. So, we'll save those, and we'll get into the race and try to hope that we just either win or lose the race on legitimacy instead of bullshittery. Through three and four, it seemed like a pretty good lap, all things considered. Our goal time is 24-3, but I think we can get about a tenth or so quicker than that if I were to guess. Eh, no, I was close to the goal time, but we'll get sixth, and that's that's really good. But we're on the outside, though, so that's still a problem like usual. And we have Brett Moppin on pole, which I believe he's second in points. So that's cute. And are we going to still be sixth? Yes, we are. So, again, it's on a six or six clicks to the right, I guess, to make it easier or make it understandable for what I'm trying to say. But, yeah, I'm hoping that this just plays out. We don't get any tomfoolery shenanigans happening and, and just kind of see how it plays out. Again, like I said last part, I'm pretty sure I got comments about t people talking. Cause I'm recording these, like, I, 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 the last part isn't up yet, so I don't know what people are saying, but... It's just, I just don't know. Based on the, the races I've done, it does seem like the, if I have the feel on normal, that should fix the them pitting. I, I don't know if that's because they're pitting because of fuel or tires. I, I don't know. I think this game really shines really well when, when you're starting your own team and you have those specific settings in, in the way that I did originally. Because it does help out with just the difficulty and just things feel more balanced in that sense. But when it's like this, it's just hard to, to gauge on it, I think. So two laps through the race and barely going to get third. Three wide for a second there. Our fuel is about 15, so we should be pinning at every stage end, relatively speaking. We copped it. No, I was going to say we caught a Tyler Ankrum, but we kind of bumped him, so it's not really... We really didn't catch him, but we tried to make a pass on him on the outside. Didn't think that would be feasible, but we're trying to make it work, and it ultimately it, it didn't. But it looks like we might get a run on him and try to pass him here eventually. As Brett Moffat, for some unknown reason, tries to make the outside lane work, and I'm sure that lost him time, so... I gotta focus and get by anger though, because this this is perplexing. There we go. We'll just kind of throw it in there, stuck somewhat. Maybe side by side, good run off turn four. We'll take over the second place, and Ross Chastain's right behind him or Ankrum. And now he's got to run down Brett Moffat, who again continues to run the outside line, which I don't think is helping him. But you know what? It makes my day easier, and we'll see if we can run him down. Thank you. 
two laps to go in the stage, and we finally cop to Brett Moffat. He's just taking the outside line, which is very strange. Maybe his tires just fall not to the point where he has to run that line. But we'll definitely give him the outside here, give him you know, his, his run. Let's get through turn three. Oh, eh, we kind of nipped the apron, but we do take the lead. Johnny Sauer looks like he's going to take the inside there. No, he doesn't. Well, there we go. We got the lead, and we're going to finish up stage one here and likely win it. Oh, turn four, we win stage one, and we'll pit here in stage two, try to, I don't think we're going to maintain the lead, it's going to be a little bit like how Texas was with, uh, but we get the lead and we have it for a few laps and we'll lose it, and then gain it back again, that's my assumption, but yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, still first, so uh, yeah, we're just going to take the lead, try to hang on to it as much as we can, and go from there, so I will catch you all when I likely lose the lead, because that's probably the only interesting thing that will happen in this stage, unless something else wacky happens. Oh! Oh my god, that was perfect timing! The yellow comes out just as Brett Moffat was going to try to pass me on the inside. That... That's perfect! But we're going to have a lot of laps left to go because of uh, how this is going to play out. But everybody should be taking four tires and a few like before. I don't even know what to do to the car or truck. I mean, I, should I even loosen it? I, I'll just keep everything as is. and More of the same like before. We'll just try to, you know, I don't know, go as long as we can, try to defend the lead as much as we can, and just wait till our first pit stop. It's like a little thing. Thirty laps to go. Oh man, and we have sixteen in the fuel. I don't even know if our truck can last that long. I really hope it doesn't turn into another weird thing like Texas. It. I want to mention this too. It's in the Texas race because in it, I did like practice sessions off camera for it, and when I did the last stage of the race, I didn't come across any pit road errors. That's why I was very surprised with when it did show up in there. But I think because of the stage ending early, it added more laps in the final run of the race there in the actual career mode. So that's probably why it messed it up, my, to my assumption. And it looked like this may be the same sort of case here, which is going to really piss me off because that's annoying. Because I, I can't find a balance in the game yet. So it's either have the, the tire wear for them be accurate or have them like fall off or have them on normal. And they don't fall off, and I'm just pretty much like six, a 16th to 12th place, 11th place truck. Which is very frustrating, because that's just, I just want the right balance uh, of the difficulty, and I can't find it. Again, I think it would be more and more fair if I was in uh, owning my own team and then experiencing some of that stuff, because then it would just, it would just feel better, but I don't know. We just gotta get through this and kind of looking forward to next season and hoping, you know, this stuff isn't as big of a problem. But then again, I don't know. Because we're gonna probably build up so much money, we might just already have a hundred truck right out of the bat. As we're actually getting caught up on by uh, Stuart Friesen, I think. Yep. So we might lose the lead here very shortly as I just completely botched turn two. I just, I just didn't pin the car to the bottom as much as I wanted. And then there we go, we lose the lead. Um. I would say hooray, but that's more of a boo. I gave up the bottom too much there. And there goes Moppet. Damn. Oh, it looks like we're pretty far ahead of whoever's in fourth. So we might be good, but yeah, we just need this to go green. Maybe they catch up, uh, catch up in lap traffic kind of have to get lucky a little bit or we can take back second place right away from Moppet that works too or we can hit the apron and almost wreck ourselves good job on my part we'll try this again for second place keep it through turn one and two to the not really to the bottom but definitely a little more proficiently and then there we go it'll take over second place and store reasons may catch the leaders before we pit not sure but we'll see where Stuart Friesen could run the outside line, therefore giving me the bottom, and I can gain all big chunk of time on him. So, yeah, well, that's nice to you, Tony. Uh, it's Tony, what? <laughs> that's the person he hates. That's the wrong human being. There we go. We got the lead. We're good, and 
We're gonna try to build up a gap as much as we can. Try to maybe make this on one more stop. So that basically means trying to stretch the, the tires out as long as we possibly can. I'll bet this lap we are passing some lap trucks and are obviously tires and fuel. Very worn, one lap remaining. Amazingly, I don't think we're going to be able to make this on one more stop or just this being our final stop because we're going to be probably hitting, I don't know. We might try to stretch it, but it may be a bad idea. But we're going to at least try. That's all I can really do. So I, I probably spare. Fuck. I didn't see the damn line. Yep, yeah, there goes our race. We got a penalty. Fuck, man. I, I just... I, I didn't see the fucking line. I just... Oh, that's embarrassing. There goes like 13 seconds. So we're at least going to be half a lap down. At the very least. I just completely screwed this up. That's frustrating. I, I got no words. I'm just annoyed. Surprisingly, we're only 14th, which is wild but then again if we could somehow stretch the fuel not the fuel well and the fuel and the tires too because we're gonna be about a lap short i think we can maybe win this on fuel strategy i don't know it'll be a hell of a comeback though but we'll we'll try i mean we're only 10 seconds back and only in 14th and lap traffic should be playing a factor so i think we could probably easily get back in the top 10 i would think that would be like realistic to to expect Actually, we're 12, so never mind, so more, they gain more spots, but all the AI pitted when they should in terms of fuel consumption, so I guess that's been fixed. But, yeah, I don't know. But we're about to get up to 11th. Goodbye, Spencer Boyd. Now I got Sheldon Creed up here as I completely botched turns 1 and 2. Can we get a good run off the corner? Uh, yes, we do. Okay, that's nice. Sheldon Creed gets held up by Natalie Decker. Of course, I don't blame him. Natalie Decker is just a moving chicane in this series. We do close up on Sheldon Creed. We'll try to make the pass on him here. It does seem like we are closing in on Stuart Friesen a little bit. Again, I think he's getting caught up in some pretty girthy amount of lap traffic. Can we get to the inside of Sheldon Creed? Oh, no, no, not really, but can we get by him? No, he, he sent it. All right, that, that, was, that was pretty manly of him. I gotta give him credit. Oh no, lap traffic causing a factor for poor Sheldon. We'll gain the spot on, move ourselves up to 10th. Now we got Ben Rhodes to maneuver around. We are closing in on Stuart Friesen still. It's 8.9, it was like 10.4 at one point. So that's always cool. And we're actually gonna try to make the pass on the outside of Ben Rhodes. That's kind of cool, but... Uh... Eh, oh, oh pff, I'm sorry. That was, that was dumb. There we go, to the inside of Ben Rhodes with a nice run off turn four and we'll easily get the spot. Ross Chastain's up high, that makes us get the spot a lot easier from him. Nip the apron and almost threw that race away. But that was, that's a little bit of side draft, I think. So hooray, we move ourselves up to eighth. And Sir Friesen continues to drop back, but again, I think all these drivers are going to have to pit again, so... It's going to be close, because we have 8 to go, 7 the fuel, and that, I... I don't... I just don't know. I have... We're going to try to stretch it. It's either win the race or wreck trying. And so far, that's worked once, so it may work again. Inside of Ekas, we move ourselves up to 7th. And we do continue to close the gap on Stuart Friesen. It's only 7.2. So, damn, we didn't get that penalty. That 15-second penalty would have at least have, oh my god, at least a 9-second lead, <laughs> possibly. It's just a shame. I just, it's, I just did it to myself. But I think we could maybe somehow, some way, get a top five out of this. We are catching uh, Crafton and Sauter, so it's possible. He cops and Matt Crafton. Now Austin Wings is going to kind of hold him down there in the bottom lane, so that helps us out. <sighs> we're, we're so... I don't think we're going to make it. I I think we're going to wreck myself trying to win this race. So, one lap of fuel, that means... No, we're not even going to be close to making it. We're going to be like a lap and a half short. Shit. Everybody else is pitting. I'm going to do the same as well. Just go with the right side tires and that's it try not to speed this time and i don't know what that was but i'll just take a, sp a splash of fuel right sides and that's it oh god 
It's it just it weren't we weren't close. 8.2 seconds stop. 8.1. And where are we? We were 12. Whoa. We're 12th at the moment. Get back on track. Hopefully this truck can manage the right the, the right side tires. Stuart Friesen is pitting, and I think that's the white flag for him. I I don't know. Well, actually, it would be the white flag for him, I think. Wow. Yeah, they only pitted when they should. And now Harrison Burton's leading. I think we're going to maybe get a top five out of this. And we're sixth. Are oh, we going to get sixth? All right, well, that kind of... Damn, one of the top five. But it looks like Harrison Burton's going to win the race. I think. Yeah, he he's not going down period, so Harrison Burton just won it. <laughs> I'll take it, I guess. That's cool. And I think we're going to get sixth. Considering we had a speeding penalty and went back to, like, 14th and we worked our way up to sixth, and all that played the hell out naturally... I'll take sixth any day for that. It's just I just wish I didn't get a speeding pelt to that kind of hurt. Also, I don't want to hear the comments section saying, you should have just took fuel only. I would have blown a tire. In this game, I would have blown a tire. It would not have worked in this instance. And I think Arabelle's did the same thing too. It's just... Well, then again, I don't know, because Kraft didn't have like, a huge lead, on, a gap on me, and I did pass him, so... I don't know. I couldn't have done that. There would be no way for me to work that, but... Dylan Lufton got second. But we get six. That's our first outside top ten finish in a while. And we're at top five. But that's actually our worst finish of the year, and we're still good in points. But I'll, I'll take it. That, was, that, that could have been so much worse, but we somehow got a lot good out of it. Nice solid run for ourselves. We do get you know 17,000 and 138 fans. So that's always nice to see. And we don't. Uh, you're unable to complete. I'm sorry. I, get, I think I, I got that off camera, and you and I are best friends, which makes you stay kind of because you took me out on the spinning state. I never took you out. And Ben Rhodes, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna insult you this time because you weren't even that was not even close. So next race is a Xfinity hot seat. What team will it be in particular is interesting, and we have a top twenty finish for the fifty five at Charlotte. Wait. We need your help driving the number seven car at Charlotte this weekend. It's not that that's not right. That's Justin Algar, but we are not racing for where Justin also. I'm well, what is he about? We'll do the race. I can't talk. What's wrong with me? Damn, 5,500 in the Xfinity for a, a lap time that's not even close to the gold time. I'll, <laughs> I'll take that. That's nice. Off turn four. Our goal time is a 30.7. We may be able to get close to it, and we get 30 point or 31.0. And that gets us 25th. That's actually not too bad. I think our goal is like 18th, I believe. So that's that may be doable. I, I was confused why it said the seven in the, the menu. Now I know why, because it's a, it's a zero seven. They should have said that in the thing because that would have made more sense to my brain. But yeah, um, set up. It's just on an eight. And we'll hope that that's good in the race. We actually start in 23rd, so that actually gains us a couple more spots. So, I don't know how many laps we have in the stage. I would imagine it's going to be just a one, not even a one-stopper, a no-stopper. So it might be like 10 laps, possibly. But Cindric has the issue as well as Stephen Light. Well, we'll see what we can do. We didn't even put up a setup, so we'll just kind of throw ourselves in here and see what we can do. And we do actually have to get a top 20, not 18. So I was wrong in that. So that's our goal. So 10 laps in the stage, I was right. So we do have like 13 laps in the field, maybe 12. So we'll be pit stop at the end of every stage, just like the truck series. And we'll see what our car is capable of. I did one race at Charlotte, and it was only in the truck series. So I don't know how the Xfinity cars are going to handle or how the fall is going to be for them. So we'll just try to take it easy. Just maintain the, the bottom lane as much as we can. And despite all this at the moment, we're not doing too bad. We're actually carrying some pretty good speed passing Justin Elgar. I don't know why he qualified back here, but we're actually doing some some goods right now. We're, we're not trash. To the inside of Chad Fincham there for the top 20 spot. And ooh, it's a little loose. And there goes the five. I don't even know who you are. I, I don't even know. Mills, Matt Mills, okay. 
Since once I saw the last name, I, I immediately made the connection. You just take a god awful angle into turn one. But it kind of worked. And we're almost at our goal position. Eh, we're doing pretty good. I'm happy with this. This is. This is, this is nice. Gotta get this field to sprout just a tiny bit more and see where we stack up. See if we can gain or lose more spots. I just ran to Zane Smith for no reason at all. Thankfully, no front bumper damage, but 20th might be where we chill for now. I would assume so. We'll pass Zane Smith, we move ourselves up to 19th. And maybe this is the part of the run where we'll start to see the tire wear really start to kick in for the AI. We might gain more spots. That's if our car is good, too. That's another thing I'm not sure of. So, it's not, it's, we just have to wait and see, but it, it may be possible. Good run off turn two, we'll get to the inside of Miller and Brandon Brown. And Miller is still to my outside. Brand, Vinnie Miller, I, I'm getting my names wrong. Or not accurate. But there we go, we got through that little, uh, little pack of cars, and now we got this other group in front of me, which I don't think I'll be able to catch those. So we might just be able to relax for the remainder of the stage, which is, you know, I'm okay with that. We'll get by John Hunter as well as BJ McLeod. And there we go, cracked inside the top 15, and I think it might be getting close to a top 10 run. Has Ray Black ever gotten a top 10? I don't know, but we're doing some good stuff right now. Three laps remaining in the stage, and damn, we're, we're just, we're meeting expectations. We'll get by Josh Williams, move ourselves. So, ooh, <laughs> got loose on the back straightaway. That's not good. We trade it by Ryan Sieg, nip the apron. Thankfully, it does not turn me around. I hit it, hit it, what? Hit it again, now I'm riding it. That's that's fun. And now we're going to head into the white flag of stage one. Still considerably slow compared to the leader, but at the same time, we're damn near going to get some stage points. Well, not really, but we might get 11. Great goal. So that would be really nice because then we can actually start on the inside line when we do pit. Hopefully, I mean, that's the only thing I'm not sure is if we'll, if, uh, we'll lose spots. And there we go into 11th, and now we have Michael and then in front of me. But damn, this car pretty good. I might damn you're gonna get a top 10 with this, so I'll take it. I'll take 11th in stage one, and we'll see what, uh, what we can do in stage two. I would imagine everybody's taking four tires and fuel including myself and yep we don't lose a spot we don't gain any and now we'll see what happens on the restart which i'm kind of scared of because that seems to be our weak suit where we're just not quite quick but at the same time we do have track position so maybe we can hang on to it a little bit better and 10 laps in the stage as well so more of the same so i imagine the last stage is going to be like 18 laps if i were to guess I'm trying to think about it i think that's how many laps we'll have left final stage but great restart we just <laughs> got to the inside of justin haley i think we we'll move ourselves up to ninth damn I, <laughs> oh my god this is with a default slider too that's nuts and we're gonna almost crack into eighth yeah there ninth well ninth but eighth ninth eighth whatever that's still really good Starting to drop back a little bit. We were in ninth, fell back to now 11th, almost 12th now with uh, John Hunter Nemechek passing. Me. So, once we get around the next three laps, I think, that's when the tire wear for the AI start to really kick in, and then so we can start maybe getting back some of this ground. But yeah, I just we're kind of in that, that point of the run, we just have to wait. There it goes, it's starting to finally catch back up. So, with three to go in the stage, we, you know, seem to. Have those AI tire fall off start to kick in full effect. Now we might damn near get a, uh, a stage point. So we're trying to get up to Gray Golding. We're actually not as far back as we were in the first stage. We're like eight and a half back, and now we're only you know five and a half. So hooray, we're not too awful. But yeah, we've definitely caught to Gray Golding, and looks like we're gonna get the run on him here with a bit of the draft. Go down low and we move ourselves up into tenth. And therefore, we'll get a stage point. And there we go. Last lap in stage two. It looks like John Hunter's starting to slip back to us. So we may be able to get that spot on him, potentially. And yeah. Ooh, it's loose. 
It's loose. Oof. All right. I think we can get the spot. I can feel it. Just gotta get a good... Never mind. All right, well, we'll get a stage point. Damn. But Cole Custer wins the stage, and everybody's pitting here. So we're actually going with 28 to go, and I think... This last run of the race might be a two-stopper because we can only go about like 12 laps to the max. We're gonna start with like 26 to go, maybe 25, so it's might be a two-stopper for everybody. I don't even think I can stretch it, so. It, once more, we have the, the race kind of play on a very strange way. Well, 25 to go, 20, 26, okay. So yeah, there's no way we can make it. It says 13, but it goes down to 12 on the first lap. So we're gonna be a couple laps short, so. All I can really do in this scenario is just kind of try to stay out as long as I can is I guess Jeffrey Earnhardt stayed out or took two tires because he just completely stacked up the field behind or in front of him and then because of that we moved ourselves up to seventh and Chase Briscoe hello oh Chastain hi oh you know, I don't want to be three wide in the middle I'm still am breathe okay we're good oh my god that was scary John Hunter just <laughs> Full highs by us on the outside off turn two. I think he used a little bit of that outside run. As Christopher Bell's back here, which is weird, but I'm sure he'll get by me with no problem. I'm just gonna keep the car to the bottom. He can just do whatever he wants on the outside. Hooray, they have common sense. That's beautiful, that's nice to see. And we'll just kind of hold the bottom here. I think we have pretty confidently a top 15 car. As Noah Gregson's back here, is that Jeremy Clemens? That's Jeremy Clemens, so. Yeah, the best thing we can do at this point is just have this run play out, and we'll, we'll get definitely gain time. We have, you know, in, in the long run, it does seem like we have a top 10 car. It's just, that's the problem, is just having this play out and go very, very long. And I'm starting to lose spots now, so I don't know. That sucks, but I have faith we can eventually gain these all back. There goes Cindric Bobby Mover. <laughs> We're dropping back. That's not good. However... They still got, uh, so, you know, we still have a lot of laps left to, to reel them back in. It does seem like it's starting to play a factor right now. Not sure, but we just, all of a sudden just gained two of them back. Maybe even four of them back in this lap. Uh, yeah. All right. Wait, no, it's not over yet. Are we going to hit the apron to it? That works. Oh, God. Oh, Cedric, I'm sorry. And, No. I mean, we did gain spots, but it, we didn't gain five in one lap, so therefore I'm triggered. There we go. Good run in the back straight. We actually had some speed there for a brief moment. But a terrible angle will just lead us up the track. There goes Cindric. He'll get by us. We just need to... I'm my own worst enemy right now. I have to just let... Just to stop. Just, I need to stop. All right, we'll just gain two spots back again and put ourselves up to 11th. Now we do have a big group of cars in front of us, but they are two seconds up the road. So I believe we can catch them, but as long as I don't have people racing behind me, it shouldn't take, it should be possible. I'm hitting this lap. There's no way I can stretch this any further. The tires are on 13%, 12%, and we definitely caught up to this pack in front of us here took us a little bit but we finally were able to do it but at the same time I have to manage my tires more than anything so yeah we just have to get down pyro not speed and we're gonna have to pit again too which is crazy but that's just how it is everybody else is pitting it looks like so that's nice to see slow down don't speed 45 a little bit slow down pyro chase Briscoe cheese a little bit but it's okay I understand but yeah we're gonna be about two laps short so on fuel and even tires so I everybody's gonna have to pit again but when we do we're just gonna take right sides like before and since we don't have a speeding penalty we should at the very least get back to wherever, wherever we were at the end of the next cycle thing 15.8 second stop actually Zane Smith why that <laughs> well that sucked all right well uh, that was weird but we'll be out in the way and in 20th at the moment, but everybody starts to pitch, so we should be in within the top 15, I would imagine. And it looks like their outlap speed's pretty good, so even that we're not going to gain much on, so that really sucks, and we're just going to hold up Cindric for no reason, unless he wants to poke his nose in there. I don't blame him. <laughs> I don't blame him. That was all. That was, that was dumb. And 
to drop back to wherever we're going to be. I, I don't know, maybe 13th? I don't know. I, I don't really have it. I may be right because I'm 14th now. We do have a couple cars leaving the pit road. No, no, I don't think so. I think we're going to be 14th. So we did lose a spot. That's not bad considering we're a four star team and I would imagine four star pit crews. And then that was not that bad. No, we're 13th. I, I don't know where I gained a spot, but I'll take it. I don't care. We have a car blown up. I think that's uh, Jeremy Clemens. So I guess that was the spot that I gained earlier. I don't know, I'm just assuming. Oof. Major frame rate drops there. That's another thing too that this game still needs to kind of work on, is just the frame rate dips because it still happens. For, for a game that's out in 2019, 2020, whatever, it's still not acceptable. It shouldn't happen at all. Especially now games have pretty much been a standard of being run at 60 frames. This is just kind of sad. It even happens during the pit cycle in animations too. When just before you enter, and then when you do actually enter for the actual cutscene, then it like then then frames dip. Like it just stops for like a half a second. Like that stuff's that stuff's like ranging on NASCAR the game 2011 levels of bad. Not as bad, but it's on that tier. Like it's in the same conversation thing. And we get a yellow, so that complicates more things. Everybody's pitting. Oh, I don't know what to do. If everybody's gonna take rice, then if we take I'm gonna take four. Alright. I don't think I need fuel, maybe just a splash, but I'm thinking that if I go with uh, four tires like this, then even if we start in the back, that means everybody else took two, and then we can maybe BS and get some big time spots, possibly. So, I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I would say this is a problem, but I know that they, they must have took right side, so we may have a major advantage in terms of tires. Because we're going to be going into this with about five laps left to go. And that's certainly enough time to go from wherever we're running right now to maybe uh, back to where we were. So it's doable. I've seen it in uh, quick races too where that, that's the scenario has sort of happened. And I'll take four tires and be in last and I will move myself up to the front pretty quickly. So this looks scary, but at the same time, look at the speed we're carrying. The grip, the speed. Oh no, we got slow cars up there too, so that's going to be even more of a problem. But uh, we're, this is the worst part. I'm just going to get back to the bottom. I don't want to throw this raceway because of that. It looks like... Ooh! That was, that was scary. Alright, we're good. Uh, yeah, okay. I didn't think the car would make it work, but it did. Oh my good lord, the speed. We have so much speed, I don't even know where to go with it. <laughs> but Tyler Reddick did take the lead back, so that didn't last long for Chad Finch up there. But yeah, we're, we're gaining. We are absolutely gaining. We're hauling. I don't even know where to go with the speed. <laughs> the closing rate's too much. I just ran the back of poor Timmy Hill. And amazingly, no front bumper damage. Hooray. Three to go. And we're back to where we were before the pit cycles happened. Now it's only a, a net gain from here. And my god, we're just just flying. <laughs> Jeez. If this is going to be... An, if. If we win this race, this is going to be the most ultimate comeback of comebacks ever. Like, holy crap. But we are... Are we gaining? I think we are. Oh my god, we can cheese a win. Oof, that would be... That would be wild. Two to go, and now we're six. Let's try to get fifth. And Brendan Jones just tried to steal my line. That's cute. We'll drive by him, no problem. And there we go, top five. <laughs> We're only a second and a half back, so it is possible. But I don't know. Do I even have enough time? I think we do. I just got like ch chills in the back of my neck. That's a sign. That's a sign that it's possible. We're only eight. Oh my god, we can seriously do it. One lap to go. And we went from 26th to third in four or five laps. And we are flying through the field. Holy crap, what a comeback! This is beyond a comeback at this point. <laughs> side by side with Christopher Bella, we have a genuine shot at this. And Tyler Rex actually gonna take my. I just ran the back. Okay, that's that's the most embarrassing loss I've ever done. I had it, I had it, and I just just rammed into him. 
I could have went to the outside, but I know where it was gonna go. Oh my god, that's so bad. I was doing so good, and I just threw it all away. That was so. Oh my god, that was so bad. I'm so that that's that's terrible. That was bad. I, I don't even have any words. That was all me. I just I just couldn't get to the outside or move out of the way quick enough. I mean, he was running the outside a couple laps beforehand, so I thought maybe he would do that in three and four, but. He juked me, he played it smart, and I just, I, I didn't, and that hurts. But we do gain money, we do get the offer, we do get more money, so <laughs> it's a win. So to recap today's race, I was racing on clean menu. I'm sorry, Ross Chastain. Just in case you're wondering, please don't run to me next race. I'm sorry. I know you're pushing hard to impress people. Austin Tenney, you wouldn't even understand the comprehension of trying to impress people when you literally have your dad be a part of Penske. You could just run up to him. Be like, I want to ride, and then you'll be like, here's the keys, and it'll jingle them. And then there you go, you have to ride. You won't even understand how it feels, but I will just, I won't even apologize. I'll just ignore you. No, that's it. Eat shit. So, how's the syndrome you're wrong? So. Alright. New week. And it's just a truck race, so. That's nice. And we'll see what uh, what race it's up here. It's, I'm assuming it's Kansas, but we'll try to go for the top five thing again. So, we'll uh, see what we can do there, but... For now, uh, that'll be it, and we're out of Zane Smith in the standings, so we're not trash. Who is John Jackson? What? Big shout out to my two or three Patreon supporters, the Down Rounds, Weather Bros, Kamikaze Games, Ryan Lazar, and Dave, Upper Champ 15, Alan Gray, more sports games, Robert Dillon, Zach Page, and NASCAR number site.org for a donation again. I can't tell you enough how much I appreciate you guys each and every single month for your continued support. Like always, it just means a lot, and I'm just very appreciative and thankful for the support. That'll be all for this part. I'm assuming next one, I don't know where it'll be for the next truck race. Charlotte. And also we have Texas right after that, so. Texas in the schedule is weird because it's only five races apart, but I think in real life it's like three months apart from each other. But yeah, it's a little weird. And then our next possible hot seat will be... Oh, it might be at Iowa. For probably a five-star ride, but that's like eight weeks from now. I think. I don't... I don't know. I don't know. The scheduling's weird because it's it's showing that that may be our next race, but then again, our schedule, like it's already calculated, it's already counted these races, but I, we're not even there yet. And like, I don't, I don't know. It's, I don't know. But either way, that'll. Do. Well, then again, we're still not last in points, so it's still keeping the points from the last race but it already did the results for everything out on it so my goodness i don't know my brain i that's it for me i'll see you all at kansas that's all that matters i'll see you all later and as always have a good day everyone